Take me out to California. Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk to you about personal responsibility, about taking responsibility for our lives. Every single one of us is going to go through some really tough stuff at some point. You who are watching this now might be going through something tough right now. So when I say take personal responsibility, that does not mean that you take the blame. Blame is a totally different headspace to be in than taking responsibility. When you sit in a space of blame and blaming yourself, it's a really negative headspace to be in. I'm not asking you to feel that you have to take a blame. I'm asking you to take responsibility. Now, some of the things that you're going through in your life won't be something that you can control. It might be a relationship breakup where the other person left. It might be that somebody has died or somebody you love has got sick. It might be that you've, I don't know, that your friend fell out with you. Whatever it is, some of those stuff, some of that stuff, well, you kind of can't control. You know, I couldn't control last year when my husband died. I couldn't control that. And me taking responsibility for that time in my life didn't mean that I took on some kind of blame that in some way that was my fault because that would be ludicrous. And so I'm not asking you to do that. What I'm asking you to do is to look at that situation and to go, okay, I can't do anything about that thing and it's rubbish. And the only thing that I can take control of and responsibility for is my reaction to it. How do I react? What's my next move? Because honestly, life is just this massive big game and there's really tough stuff involved in that game. And your job is just to go, okay, what's my next move? Because all of us want a good life, I guess, don't we? We all, kind of, we all want a good life. We all want a life that whatever success and, and happiness looks like to you, we want that. And so when you get, when you get stuck, and maybe you sit in that space of victimhood and woe is me and it's only me and the things like this just happen to me and, and we get into that headspace. If you're in that headspace, then you kind of can't move forward, can you? You're just stuck in that space. And you don't want to be stuck there because if you're sat there, you give your power away and you can't move forward to the things that you really want. And every tough bit in my life, all the hard bits, I have went, okay, I'm gonna have my cry, I'm gonna feel pain, because it's not about pretending that the pain isn't there. It's not about me going, just mute that, stiff up a lip and man up and all that nonsense. It's not about that at all. When you are in pain, feel the pain, have your cry, acknowledge that you're going through something, you know, just give yourself a hug, be kind to yourself, all of that good stuff. But then don't sit in a space of, of, of that. You know, you have your cry, accept that something is going on that's tough, and then you need to go, okay, what's next? What am I going to do next? How am I going to respond to this? How am I going to respond? What's my next move? Those of you that follow me across social media and, and have watched some of my videos before will know that one of my big mottos in life is whatever it takes. Whatever it takes to me means whatever it takes to keep me getting closer to the things that make me happy and, and feeling fulfilled and, ha and happiness within my life. And even throughout the tough stuff in my life, I've went, okay, whatever it takes. And that to me means, okay, what's the next step? How do I move forward? How do I get from this space of sadness and tough stuff and anger or whatever else it is, frustration, and move to the next stage of my life? And that comes from feeling grateful, feeling grateful for the other stuff around the crap stuff. It comes from going, what are the lessons that I'm learning from this experience? You know, because it's always a lesson in that rubbish, what, how am I gonna be better because of this experience? And when you can start to look at the tough stuff like that, then you've cracked it. Then you can start moving forward and you're not, not acknowledging the pain, you can go through the pain, but you're gonna come out the other side because you're gonna go, phew, that was some tough stuff, but you know what? It's gonna make me a better person. Maybe it makes me more empathetic. Maybe it teaches me who to trust and who not to trust. Maybe it teaches me how to respond to other people going through tragedy and hard stuff. I've learned lots of lessons within my life and, and they've come from the painful bits in my life, you know? And one thing that has really always given me comfort, and I, I remember thinking this when I was pregnant with my first daughter, and when you get pregnant, you start to think about that giving birth bit, and you start thinking, oh, what if I can't do that? That seems like it would be really painful. And the thing that got me through that was thinking, look at all these people around. They've clearly done that before. They've given birth. That woman's given birth like 10 times. 
these people have done it so I can get through it too. Whatever you are going through right now, however painful it is, somebody went through it before and they got through it and they came out the other side and they made something better for themselves and you can too. I promise you, if you are in that space now and you feel really lost, I'm sad that you're going through it, but I want you to take responsibility now. I want you to move yourself forward because no one is gonna do it for you. There's a great Mark Twain quote that says, um, people walk around something, I'm paraphrasing totally. People walk around like the world owes them something. Owes, that's hard in my accent to say. The world owes them something. The world owes you nothing. It was here first. The world owes you nothing. None of us are special. None of us are that important and all of us are special and important. We all have our place within this world that we live in and we have to take responsibility for ourselves. No one, no friend, no partner, no wife, no sister, nobody's gonna do this for you. You have to do it. So what is your next move? I truly, truly believe in people and I believe that whatever you're going through, you've got the strength within you to pull yourself out of this. No stiff upper lip, no man up. Just acceptance and moving forward and, and wondering what you've learned from this and how you can get yourself to the next stage. Take some time today to feel grateful for something, anything. I don't care if it's that you ate something nice to eat today and or you managed to get dressed or showered or brush your teeth. I don't care what it is, there's something to feel grateful for. Focus on that. This morning, my youngest daughter had a bit of a cry about the fact her dad died and she felt sad about it. And although it wasn't really the main reason she was feeling sad, it was something that came up and, and she had a cry and I cuddled her tight and we acknowledged that pain and sadness and that we miss him. And then I said, okay, well, why don't we think about now? Now we've, we've thought about that. Now, why don't we think about what we love about right now, about our lives? And then we thought about some new things that we love right now and it moved her forward and we moved on with our day and we focused on that. That's what you've got to do. Life isn't easy. It's not supposed to be. It's never going to be easy. Your ducks are never going to get in a row and do what they're told. They're going to go chaotic. That's life. But you can do it. I love hearing from you all. I love getting your messages. So do still send me them. I always try to respond where I can. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And click that little bell so you get notifications when I post some videos. And you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and I'll put the links below and if you want a little bit of help towards feeling better and working on your mindset I still have the Happy Me project which is my online self-development course it's 21 days it's only 30 quid in the UK 30 pounds English pounds you can buy it anywhere you get lifetime access and it will give you a really good helping hand in feeling good about life and about yourself and moving forward and all that good stuff and if you do start the Happy Me project, then let me know so I can check in with you and see how you are and all that stuff. See you all soon. Peace. Take me out to cut.